All right, my friends, sad day. My little tractor has uh, lost the PTO, which the PTO mounts on the bottom of the engine, a vertical shaft on the bottom of the engine, and it turns the deck. You can see I'm in trouble. I just undid the pressure from the uh, belt tensioner, and the PTO fell right off the engine, right there. Oops, can you see right there? So I'll just leave you hooked up here and we'll see if we can get this out. Uh, let's see, we might have to do it from this side. Because it's got, it's got a connector to disconnect it, an electrical connector from the switch on the dash. There it is. Looks like it might be further up in the engine. I can't even believe it. The only thing that was holding it was the tensioner. You know, the bolt, the bolt might have fallen out. Wouldn't that be something? Is there a connector up there? Right there. It's probably a clicker on or tape, right? Let me just get some spray and clean that up a little bit. There we go. Maybe not. Broken thumb? We'll find out. Alright. I think the bolt came off from underneath the engine. <laughs> I don't know what else could be broken. Is the other side broken? No, it's not. Good. Okay, screwdriver time. Are you getting any of this? So that connector definitely fits there. And that connector looks like it could be snapped off already. Maybe. Or there's only one. <laughs> I'll get her yet. There. On the air filter, we'll see oil filter. We'll see if that holds it. There we go. That should come. Maybe. I don't know. Ah. I need a pair of pliers. Ugh. Right there. Wonder which way it squeezes. <laughs> okay. So this is when stuff's not necessarily fun, but still rewarding, right? I'm gonna have to get, I might have to get in front of you to squeeze that guy. Oh, it's a tie wrap. I think. I brought the wrong pliers. Take this up to the bench and test it. Good thing I got a heavy duty camera. I hope it lasts. I just used this greasy finger to turn my camera on. Okay, here's the PTO. You introduce 12 volts to here, and this 
clicks together and the part that's turning connects to the part that's not turning and you have a turning assembly. Right now the brake is on. I'm going to get a 12 volt battery and we're going to see if it, to see, to see if it uh, locks together. Stay. I'm not positive which one's positive. Hmm. Might be able to tell which one goes to ground. Which would be the negative. I doubt that. Okay, let's take a resistance reading of the coil to see if it's still good. I think it is, because I heard it clunking, eh? Resistance. Right here, can you see that? Uh, no, you can. 4.7 ohms. So that tells me that the coil is good. Right on, baby. Red and the black. I'm positive red is positive in this business. In my old business, it was all different. It was 50 volts DC. Negative DC. You should hear a click here, eh? I think the bigger one will be the uh, positive lead. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to go. Or the other way. Sparking. I need some leads. Something to poke in there, eh? This is probably a welding wire. Okay, we'll try both ways. It's a coil, it can't kill it. Oh. The other way. Nothing's happening. How much voltage do we have on the battery? 12 volts. So it's not clicking. right there. Four point seven ohms. That should that should uh, that should activate it. Okay, here's the battery, we're hooked up. get a new one of these for about 200 to 350 depending on who I buy it from. Canadian, remember my friends? And remember, oh I did, and I found the bolt out in the lawn. It, it just undid itself and fell out. But I'm reading 4.5 ohms on this relay and it's trying to click. So I'm just wondering if it's dirty. I'm going to take it apart and clean it. I have absolutely nothing to lose. Now, should we do this intelligently or should we just go for it? Uh, I think we should do it intelligently. Good. 
just more than a sixteenth of an inch on that one. I gotta watch my eyes. I should probably put some goggles on, eh? One more pair. And some googles. Good. Okay, we got a half inch ratchet out here. And we need some tools. Let's just spin these nuts off. Any washers? Nope. Okay, this is the scary part now. Let's do, which one do we do first? Not bad. It could be dirt because I am measuring a resistance, not a short. I see. It just click. It just attracts this plate to that plate. Now I'm going to do another measurement with the meter. We're going to go to ohms. Three point one ohms. But that's a coil, remember. So now let's get our battery back. In. And our leads. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Okay, which one's positive? Positive, it's positive. Hold that in so it doesn't energize the table. Okay, here we go. Now one of these will hold it. You see all those little guys in the magnets in there? That's cool. So I'm going to turn it upside down. We're going to see if we can... Let's put a clean rag down there now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dude, oh, springs for the studs. That's all those are. I'll be back. That one's dirty. My hands are filthy. Okay, let's just give this a soaking here. We'll get our leads again. Well, all, right now all we're doing is just energizing the coil. That'd be cool if I could clean this up and it would go clunk, clunk, clunk again, eh? Come on. How much crap did we get out of there? Pretty good. Okay, I can accept that. Now, is this movable? Yes, it is. It's actually... I'm going to clean this up. And we're going to see if we can attract this back. Oh, this should be a really strong magnet, you guys. So we've energized the coil. We don't want to short the leads out. Are you getting any of this, my friends? Yes, you are. See that? Good. So we should be able to almost suck this together again. Eh? I'm giving this a little wash and some solvent. The coil is still good, my friends. Yes, I'm going to clean it up. I'll be right back. So when I tell you guys I'm using solvent, I'm not kidding you. Like it's, uh, gasoline is pretty volatile stuff and I've learned that the hard way, of course, as any small engine guy would do. Now, 
first of all, I'm going to do just a surface wipe on this with the solvent. I'm going to see what comes out. Boy, I almost want to set it in my pan. Well, that's just, it doesn't get any smoother than that. Blow it off with some air now. Watch, that's fine too. Where are we? Down here. Yuck! Does that stuff stink, eh? Okay, so that side's good. Now we're going to just do this and like that. We're going to clean out this side. Is that bearing shot? No. Good. I see how this works. There's only one spring that has this little do hummer on it. Is the rest broken? That doesn't look broken. That one doesn't look broken. That's a different spring. And I didn't remember which one was which. I wonder if I can tell by running the videos. Sometimes I do that. It's still pretty darn smooth. Okay, let's put this back together again with our brain. Try and put this back together, but one spring has a little tag on it, and I don't know if it has a special location. I think this tag goes on the post on the tractor. I gotta look at the video, guys. I gotta steal your card. And that's something. The this is a 1996, and it's still an 18 millimeter to get these blades off of here. Wow. I gotta be careful because this thing's just dangling in the middle of no wires. Okay, there you go. Blades off. The same for all three. Now we're gonna do maintenance on the blades. I don't have tractors anymore, guys.